Have you ever pondered the value of a single life in an unprovoked attack by terrorists? This question echoes loudly in our minds as we follow the hostage crisis in Gaza, a grim saga that has stretched over more than six months since the abduction by Hamas of some 200 hostages from southern Israel on October 7. The uncertainty that shrouds the fate of these hostages is terrifying, and given the barbaric reputation of Hamas, it all suggests a tragic and heart-wrenching outcome. Negotiations for a ceasefire agreement have not been successful, and the pendulum has swung from despair to painful glimmers of hope and then back again. Israeli officials, in their efforts a solution, hold on to the belief that perhaps around 130 hostages remain in Gaza still alive, a belief that fuels their resolve. Yet with each passing day, that belief becomes more elusive, and the fate of the remaining hostages, including women, the elderly and ill hostages, of greater and greater concern. Each day, each hour is critical to each of them and to their loved ones. In the face of the inhumanity of what Hamas has done, one cannot help but question why anyone would engage in terror attacks and hostage-taking like this and the devastating toll they take on innocent lives. Many believe that many or most of the hostages have already been killed in captivity. If this comes to bear there will be and should be further outrage in Israel and elsewhere. But given the brutality we have seen by Hamas, it will not be a surprise. The world now watches, waiting and wanted to know the true extent of the tragedy, and who among the hostages, if anyone, is still alive. Should our worst fears be confirmed, the international outcry will be and should be deafening. Governments, human rights organizations and the public at large will and should raise their voices to condemn the cruelty of what Hamas has done. Perhaps this outrage will serve as a catalyst, shifting the dynamics of the Israel-Hamas conflict toward a better understanding of what terrorism means and what Hamas stands for. This is the grim reality of what Hamas has done. It is never to be forgotten and never to be forgiven.